Thank you so much for stopping by my channel, Lovely Moments Creating. If you are new here, come on in and join the family. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and remember the notification bell so you can be reminded every time I upload. My name is Jenny and on this channel I create lovely DIYs using mostly items that I find at the Dollar Tree. I try to keep all of my DIYs budget friendly. The first thing I want to say is thank you to everyone who is supporting me. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for subscribing. All of those things helps my channel grow and I am very, very grateful. So thank you so much. This weekend is bittersweet for me. Today, May the 9th is my mom's birthday and I lost my best friend a couple of years ago. When I lost her, I also lost my biggest cheerleader. My mom supported everything that me and my siblings did. She was an amazing woman and an amazing mother, and I miss her so much. If she was here, I would be creating her something for her birthday, as well as something for Mother's Day, because we always put them together and celebrate it with her. Just one big celebration. So I've came up with some really cute DIYs that I know she would have loved. I want to say Happy Mother's Day to everyone. Happy Mother's Day, and I hope you are staying well and staying safe. If you want to see what I created in honor of my mom, keep watching. So for filming purposes, I'm going to show you guys all of the pieces that I will be using for today's Dollar Tree DIY, and I will cut all of the pieces that I need to cut off camera. The first four items I'll be using is these wooden frames that have these canvas attached to it. If you watch my pre previous videos, you know I just cut the canvas straight off the wooden frame or you can remove the staples. But I'm going to take all of the canvases off of these wooden frames. And now I'm going to show you what else I'll be using for this DIY. I have four of these signs and these signs are for Luau. I collect all signs from the Dollar Tree to put in my craft stash so I have plenty signs. What I'm going to do with these is I'm going to remove all of the strings and I'm going to cut off maybe about two inches maybe off of each one of these. And so I'm going to put those to the side because I'm going to cut off of those as well. The next items I'll be using is three of these American signs. I was lucky to find these signs because they're perfect for what I need them for. I will be removing the stars from each one of these and I'm going to cut about an inch off of the piece that I will be using. And so for all three of these American signs I'm going to cut off the stars off all three and I'm going to cut an inch off of all three of these signs. So I'm moving on to the next items that I'll be using for today. I will be using two of these small wooden pictures. I use these all the time so I know you've seen these plenty of times in my video and all I'm going to do is pop off the little metal piece on the top and a little hanging piece on the back and then just pull off the little burlap strings. I will not be cutting anything except for the tag off of these four. So I have four of these Easter signs. These was in my craft stash, so I will not be doing anything to those. So what I'm going to do is be back after I remove and cut everything. Now I'm going to let you know what I did to these pieces. I removed the other uh, metal frame from off the top and the hanging pieces from those two. All I had to do was remove the string and the tags from these four Easter signs. Off of the three American signs, I removed the stars off of all three signs. And this is how much I cut off the piece that I will be using. The next thing I did was I cut about two inches off of all four of these signs, maybe two and a half inches. And as you can see for these, I cut the canvas off all four of these. And so now I'm ready to get started. 
the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to glue these signs together facing each other. So I'm going to take two of them and glue them together. And then I will be gluing the other two together facing each other. Now I'm going to glue these two signs together using my hot glue and then I'm going to go in with one of my really large craft sticks for extra security to hold it together as well as that's how I will be hanging this DIY because I will be putting my command strip right down the center of this craft stick. Now for this part of the DIY, I'm going to attach the American sign to the top of these wooden frames because these signs will be the base. I really got lucky finding these American signs because they fit perfect. All I had to do was cut off a little piece of it. I usually when I do DIYs using these I usually use foam board and as you know foam board isn't as sturdy as actually using wood so I stocked up on these American signs because after cutting off a little piece they were the perfect size. The next two I'm going to glue two of these together. The other ones I did single but for this part of the DIY I'm going to glue two of these wooden frames together. Now I'm going to attach them to my board. I'm going to use that center line as a guide of where I'm going to glue the first shelf. And I'm just going to add the glue and I'm going to glue it right along the center. Now I'm going to go in with my other shelf and I'm going to add the glue and I'm going to glue this one right at the bottom so I'm going to make sure it's lined up all the way to the edge of the bottom. Now I'm taking the last one, the one that I double up, and I'm going to turn it the opposite way. And I'm going to glue that to the top because that's going to be the top of the shelf unit. And now I took some of my large craft sticks and I just cut off the round part and then I measured how many pieces I need because I'm going to go along both sides of this DIY with these craft sticks. And basically what I'm going to do is I my glue and glue them starting from the top of the DIY all the way along the sides and I'm going to do this on both sides.
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue two of these signs together facing each other. And I'm going to do both of them that way. And now I'm going to take these little wooden frames and I'm going to attach them to the bottom of each one of the wood pieces. And I'm going to go like, eyeball it to go like in the center and I'm going all the way down to the end just like that and I'm going to do both of them. So now I'm going to paint everything with my dark gray acrylic paint. Now that everything has dried, I'm going to go in now and add the decor to all of my pieces, starting with my Dollar Tree rope. I'm just going around the base with the rope as well. And so now that I have added rope to both DIYs, I'm going to now go in with some of this Dollar Tree burlap ribbon and I'm going to add it to the inside of the wooden piece. And I'm also going to do that to the other one so both will have the burlap ribbon. Now I'm going to start working on my shelf unit. As you can see I already started adding rope along the side. I'm going to go with two layers of the Dollar Tree rope on the sides of this DIY.
And now I'm going to take the burlap ribbon and I'm going to glue it right down across the top of the shelving unit. And I'm just going to measure and cut the amount that I need. And I'm going to go right along the top just like this. I'm actually going to do that to all of the pieces. So now that I add the burlap ribbon to each shelf and along the side, I'm going to go along the top of each shelf with a string of the rope and I'm going to glue it right to the back of each shelf. So I'm going to add my last string of rope to this DIY and then I'm going to go in with my little Dollar Tree push lights and you can just twist them off to change the batteries. I actually am going to add glue. They have a little sticker but I'm going to add some glue to make sure that they stay secure. That's why I doubled up on the wooden frame so I can add my lights to them. And after I add my two lights, my shelving unit will be ready to go. As you can see, it turned out absolutely beautiful. I found that little home sign in my craft box, so I decided to glue that on. And all of these little other items I had in my craft box, the little bird and the flowers, my son actually gave that to me for Mother's Day. And the little lanterns I picked up at the Dollar Tree. As you can see for the candle holders, I added a little floral piece to the top of both of them just to give it a little extra look i really love this my mom really loved shelving units and candle holders and that is why i created this diy in honor of my mom i really hope you enjoyed this video if so please give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already done so subscribe to my channel and remember to stay safe and i will see you in the next video